Hey guys, welcome to 2019. Orlando Rios here with Dropkick Ads. I hope the new year is starting out great for you. I hope your ad campaigns are doing well. I hope your ads are converting. You're getting purchases. You're getting leads. You're getting great traffic at a good price. I, I know things with Facebook can go each direction. It can go really bad sometimes. It can go really, really good sometimes. I know in December, for a lot of people, the cost per impression got really high and it kind of made some campaigns sputter. So if you were in that same boat, don't worry, you're not alone. We face the exact same thing and, and it happens. You know, the competition comes and goes on Facebook ads. It's usually high, it's getting higher every single year. Um, but they're always changing things. They're changing algorithms and, and things that can affect our campaigns. So we need to stay on top of it. Now, one of the simplest thing, as you know, we always preach here, you know, start with the basics. One of the simplest things you can do to make sure you're taking advantage of the platform correctly is to make sure your ad creative is on point. Not, not in, in a sense of like what we do in, with creating amazing creative for you like ad copy and imagery and targeting and that stuff. But I'm talking about the specs, like the Facebook ad specs because those things and what you can do in the platform change pretty frequently. Um, some things are, are are not that big of a deal, but a lot of times it can make a huge difference. So one of the cool things that happened over the last couple of months with Facebook ads is they are now allowing a square image in the Facebook news feed. So before, you know, you can only stick with the horizontal image. Now you can actually use a square image, like for instance, like what you use in Instagram. Now, why is this a big deal? Um, it's not a giant deal, but it's an improvement because anytime you can use a square image, it takes up just a little bit more of the newsfeed for you uh, on, a, on a height uh, scale. So if you think about it, if somebody's scrolling on their phone and they have to see your ad for a half a second, just a second more maybe, that could be the difference of a conversion. That can be the difference of a click-through. So I wanna invite everyone to start trying that out. Of course, test everything. I've tried it on a couple of different client campaigns. Uh, a couple didn't see a difference in results from a square image to a horizontal uh, aspect ratio image. But I do have one client that I'm running leads for and the difference was ridiculously good on a lead gen campaign. I took leads from $2 per lead to 80 cents per lead simply from switching from a horizontal standard Facebook ad image size to a square ad image size. So I invite everybody to try out that test. If you want to see all our Facebook ad specs for the year, I put together a quick little blog, not a brog, a blog, uh, on our website at dropkickads.com. If you go to the top and click the ring, you'll see all our blog posts and you'll see our 2019 Facebook ad specs in there that'll give you the size for the images that you should use in Facebook and for Instagram too, the, what you can do and also our recommendations for what you use. And also did the same thing for videos. So videos are, are huge on Facebook as everybody knows, but one thing I want to make sure that you guys know is that square videos actually do a lot better on Facebook than a regular standard horizontal aspect ratio video does. Why? There's not an exact science, but it works better. Every single client that I have, I run a square Facebook video on and they, it's always the best performing ad. Um, you have some statics out there that really do give it some competition, but the square videos do really, really, really well. Uh, on that note, also, you want if you're gonna do Instagram stories, Make stuff in the Instagram stories format. Like, you don't, it, it's okay, it looks okay. We've done it sometimes for Dropkick ads to have the video and then to have the text a little bit underneath it, you know, the way it creates it for you. But if you have the resources to do it, I understand not everybody does, you should. You should make, you should make the, the Instagram stories ad in the aspect ratios that it was, that it was made for. So that way it just looks good. It When you can make things that look like it's organic in people's feeds, that's not 
make it look not so much like an ad, they're less likely to just skip back past it. So make sure you do that. And back to the square uh, video thing, like it just works. Try, try them against each other. Try a landscape video versus a square video. And I'm pretty much will guarantee that the square video will do much better. Don't mind my cat meowing back there because she's agreeing with me. But on that same note too, put captions on your videos. It's not that hard and it makes a ton of difference. Lots of people scroll on their feeds and on their feeds every day and they don't bother to turn on the sound. They're in bed, they're on the bat in the toilet or something. They don't want to listen to anything. So make sure you're giving them something to read and most people do read the captions. So add captions is super simple. Facebook will do it for you and then you can go in and edit the captions later. If you want to get something more accurate right off the bat, you don't want to have to do any editing. You can use a service like rev.com for a dollar a minute, they'll transcribe your videos for you and then you can just upload a file straight to Facebook. So I hope 2019 is kicking off great for you guys. I just wanted to remind you guys of the Facebook ad specs and some of the best practices like formats, images, you always want them in a PNG. They come across uh, better They with our high resolution screens that we have. Always use a PNG when you're using a static image. Um, videos always go MP4. I always recommend that. Um, you know, check check all these things out on the blog. I'll link it up here in the text, and uh, and I and I hope you enjoy. It. And if you need our help on creating any of this ad creative, come to Dropkick Ads. That's what we do. We created over four thousand Facebook ads last year. Our poor writers, they've 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 done it, and uh, but they enjoy what they do. So come check us out at DropkickAds.com. Make sure to check out that blog with the latest Facebook ad specs. Have a good one.